Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody, welcome. Inbox review time. One of my favorite manufacturers is IBG Models. This is a 135th scale. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that name. I have a difficult job pronouncing the English language. I don't know about German. It's 135th scale. The kit number is one, uh, 35006. And it's a breakdown truck. Now, we've got past that bit. Uh, this actual truck I will be building in well I'm going to start on it as soon as I finish this uh, kit review because this particular uh, vehicle is going on to a diorama base that which I've already completed so I need this kit building so without no further ado uh, not a great deal of artwork on the box we'll get inside of it once we get the lid off right lids off Right, uh, bags of sprues, we've got two, three, four, five bags of sprues. We have a very thick uh, workshop manual. We also have some decals, decals, transfers or stickers, whichever you would like to call them. I am happy with that. And we also have a thin piece of thread. And that's it. So, put you on pause, I'll get the bags opened, and we'll take a look at the sprues. Now I did say we'd take a look at the sprues, but I lied. We're going to have a look at the actual workshop manual. Uh, very nicely set out, as normal with uh, IBG. We have a colour call out. We have Mr. Colour, um, Model Master, Humble, and Vallejo. So, we've got a choice there. We have got a sprue map. Uh, on the front here with some shaded areas I gather we don't use them parts uh, into first page we have a nice big sprue map again all the parts numbered up and numbered uh, lettered which is brilliant when I get the pages open and we've got the final two sprues again nice lit out nice and large so we can find everything well, <laughs> right, uh, we'll run through this quickly. You can see that there's quite a lot going on. The chassis going together, we've got a lot of suspension, bits and pieces going on between these. Get the page over. Engine assembly, wheel assembly, looks like there's quite a well detailed engine. Uh, all the suspension bits for there's loads of suspension bits going on this there was uh, support arms there's a lot turn the page even more Jesus Christ now we've got loads it looks like this is going to be what uh, it's going to be driving at least four wheels at the back yeah anyway there's loads of suspension parts going on here uh, the drive shafts all going in yeah it looks like all the, the two back wheels the four back wheels are all driven uh, it even looks like the front is driven as well but we'll see yeah, it is actually so it's uh, a, a six wheel drive man a lot of things going on yes it is a six wheel drive as we can see there very well detailed engine it's very deep, very well de detailed right the way through. Onto the cab assembly, soft top cab, like that. I like the whole appearance of this actually. I uh, don't think I'll be putting them side bits on, not if we spend a bit of time on uh, painting the engine. We'll probably be leaving them side bits off. <coughs> Moving on, uh, fen well, fenders, mud guards, whatever you want to call them. We've got some cans and bits and pieces going on the side onto the main back bed uh, the sides the back all them bits and pieces all coming together we got an option of having it up or down 
and then we move on to the actual winch or hoist which whatever you want to call it you can call it whichever you want pretty self-explanatory all going together it takes them up, there's a lot of steps in this but how many steps are up to now uh, 29 30 still more on the assembly of the winch is that two different styles uh, we've got a double and we've got a single that has just taken my notice so we've got a, du a, a double arm one or we can do it as a single arm very good uh, and that is it we've got 33 31 31 no 32 steps 33 including that of actually put in the uh, the back bed onto the lorry and put in your hoist on you, like I say you, you have a choice between one and two very nice it's going to be enjoyable build this one is uh, and we also got it extended with the tailgate down that's good as well yeah lots and lots of options uh, painting options what we got uh, Panzer Division France 1940 okay and then we have Panzer Division Eastern Front Russia winter 1941 so we can give it a little bit of a, a white spray uh, nothing too complicated anyway enough of the destruction book let's get the bags open and have a look at these sprues right we'll start taking a look at the sprues I put the camera on a fixed focus uh, if we need to get any closer I can zoom you in I don't think we need to because it's lovely crisp clear flash there's no flash on it at all uh, nice little trademark of IBG right okay these few bits we're not going to be using but right down to they've even got the uh, rivet details on the sides now I will try and get you into that one there we go we've even got it's even got the little rivets all put in along the side which is pretty cool nicely detailed I'm not going to try and uh, tell you what all these bits are because there's a lot of bits on each sprue so that's sprue C we'll do the smaller sprues first now uh, we've got nice detailing on the side uh, boards right down to the actual uh, winches if you can just see them they are really nicely detailed nice and clean nice and crisp I have got no arguments over the quality of IBG's molding really is nice and crisp and clear as you can see A little bit of a long right down to the hooks all the hooks are all nicely shaped up brilliant stuff right that was a uh, sprue H and uh, we'll move on to the next sprue like I say we do all the smaller sprues first now we've got some parts for the winch or the hoist all nicely done uh, even though they're, they're small thin parts I mean I've never had no issues with uh, IBG stuff it always comes off the sprues very very nicely no issues at all uh, nice detailing on the bed and on the sides and like I say they've even got the uh, rivets in the actual center of the uh, supports there which is really nice really nice over to the back all nice and clean and as you can see there is not a bit of flash anywhere really is some nice parts oh, I'm pleased with that right uh, that was uh, G and now we move on now I'll drop the camera down as far as I can get it and these are the larger sprues you know there's two of these but there's a very there's a lot of pieces on it 
So I just wanted to try and sort of show you the quality of it all. Uh, they really are made an excellent job of all these, well, of this moulding actually. Uh, as you can see, suspension units, there's lots of little half shafts for the drive system. All nicely done. All really nicely done. Nicely detailed. So let me turn that round. All nicely put together. The detailing is absolutely gorgeous. Right down to the engine. The checker plate on there, well that might be a little bit heavy, but uh, who am I to say? The side covers, I don't think I'll be putting them on, not if I spend a bit of time on the engine. Mud guards and all the suspension pieces look really are nicely done. Really nicely done. Really impress me. But I've been told it doesn't take much to impress me. Not by well, it says by the wipe anyway. And as you can see, all nice and clean, no flash. I can't find any issues with that at all. Right down to the uh, the actual chassis, all nicely done, all nice and crisp. Even the little pedals. Yeah, this is going to be a very very enjoyable build. And the, f the fit, I've never normally had any problems with IBG, touch wood. Right, uh, start with that. Oh, that's unusual, we've got a steering wheel there. My friend uh, Les would uh, enjoy to have, let me send him that I think. Uh, battery, lights, we've got the fan, uh, manifold, all nice and crisp. We've got, I ain't quite sure what they are for, but we will find out. Now the wheels, I mean, I've never had no problems with their wheels. They've always come together nice. Never had no problems with seams. I've always uh, just sanded up because they've been two halves and they've always joined together lovely. Uh, there's not a lot more I can really say about this, but extremely nice really nice we've got plenty of wheels here this is a six wheeled vehicle there's been lots of fiddly bits to be actually built so these are all for the suspension and they're the like for the hubs but all in all extremely nice really is nice so that's it that's all the sprues right down to the little uh, shovel there. That's uh, even. Uh, this board here looks it's flat that side, but there you go. Still nicely detailed. Really impressed. So that is the last of the sprues. We'll just have a quick look at the decals. Okay, these are the decals, decals, transfers, or stickers, whatever you want to call them. You can call them what you want. Not very much on there. I ain't going to bother getting them out. We have one small piece of plastic, a clear uh, for the front windscreen. Uh, what can you say about clear? But it's clear, a clear part. That's it. And also, we do have this uh, thread. Uh, I'm not too keen on it. I'd be replacing mine uh, probably with some 0 0.2 wire uh, instead of the thread. But we'll see when we get there so that's it that is a good look at the IBG uh, recovery truck uh, German one at that which I will not pronounce the name so with that all I can do is say thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one